Residents of Tradmore State, Lugbe, in the Federal Capital Territory, have objected to the move by the federal government um, to demolish some parts of the area. The residents are seeking a way out of the woods and have called for collaboration with the relevant authority towards a lasting solution to the problem of flooding in the area. Our correspondent, Emeka Amako, files on this report from Abuja. It's exactly 10 days since the flood disaster which engulfed Trade Moor Estate and its environs claimed three lives and left wanton destruction in its wake. At a time when the residents are still reeling from the shock of the disaster and its attendant ruins, comes this news of demolition to dash their hope. In this press briefing, the residents insist that the estate is neither illegal nor a disaster zone as claimed by the Federal Capital Territory Authority, FCTA. They question why a former Vice President, Namadi Sambo, would commission the estate if it was indeed illegal. Tradmore Estate alone has three polling units. When votes are taken from here, it is not illegal. When tenement rates are paid from here, the estate is not illegal. When land charges and other numerous taxes of this, from the same FCTA were collected from here, the estate is not illegal. Now that time has come for them to provide stormwater infrastructure, they have declared us illegal. In fact, AEDC collects, this is a cash cow, cash cow for AEDC, an income of about 30 million naira per month from this estate. Trade more estate, we emphasize, is not illegal. Trade more estate is financed by federal government of Nigeria. Part of Tradmore Estate was commissioned by the federal government of Nigeria. Where is the illegality? That is the question we dare ask the government. Tradmore Estate is not a disaster zone. Yes. Yes. Rather, what we have is a, a, leader, a leadership disaster in FCTA. Who are too shy to think? who are unable to carry, carry out their primary responsibilities. This, uh, the person who declared this estate a disaster zone is the permanent secretary of FCTA. While they believe that the demolition move is not a quick fire solution to the perennial flood in the area, the residents called for provision of a stormwater infrastructure to tame the flood. The dam at Aleta needs to be re-evaluated. The three culverts commencing from Ecological Road culvert after Tradmore, which currently hold an average width of 9 meters, should be expanded to a minimum 2 15 meter span or 1 20 meter span. And that is the culvert outside of this gate. And it was done by Ecological Fund. At the time of the construction, we suggested, we argued, we told them the right thing to do but they chose to do the wrong thing. If you look at the height of the road, it's above the estate. All waters, all storm waters on the road are discharged into the estate and it creates a confluence where we are having this meeting right now. Hence, we keep having loss of lives. On Sunday, Shehu Hamad, the Executive Secretary, Federal Capital Development Authority, had announced that the FCT administration would demolish all structures on waterways across the nation's capital. It said some of these structures are preventing water from flowing freely through its natural course, causing flooding in some parts of the city.